Hey everyone, in the second video of the week, we are going to talk about Rambi. So, we are working on IXL and 8 properties of, it says rhombuses, but as far as I know, it is called Rambi. Plural form of rhombus. So, some properties of a rhombus is all of the sides are equal. Not all of the angles are equal, keep that in mind. Only the ones across from each other, those angles are equal such as this 70 degrees and this 70 degrees. That should be 70. That's another property uh, of a rhombus. And adjacent angles, like angle G and F, if the angles, if the vertices are next to each other, uh, those are supplementary. When you add them together, you get 180 degrees. And one more property, uh, the diagonals. I will just show that one and then I'll remove it from the figure. So these two, the diagonals GI and HF, they are perpendicular. That's another property. So let's get to this and see how we can find the value, the measure of angle FIG. So a required skill for this assignment is knowing how to label an angle. So if it says angle FIG, you start from point F move on to the next one, the next point is I and then the next one is G from I to G so the corner that you made up is the angle so our question basically is all about this right here it says figure out the measure of this angle uh, okay that angle and this right here are the same by the way uh, this is another property of a rhombus so let's say this right here is x so that one is x as well and should I there are multiple ways to solve this question here is one of them and then I will do another one uh, these two when you add them together there, there are two x's in there so it is two x and then there's 70 over here. And these two angles, angle H and angle I, they are called adjacent. And adjacent angles are supplementary, which means when you add them together, they make up at 180 degrees. And solve it for X. Get the X by itself, because that's what our question was. F, I, G, I labeled it with X. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the value of 1x. So subtracting 70 from both sides, 2x would be equal to 110. Divide everything by 2. So x would be equal to 55. So angle FIG, I labeled it with x, by the way. So that's the measure of angle x or angle FIG. So let's use the, let me show you the other method. <coughs> Uh, let's just get rid of this whole thing. Okay, let's start over. Our question was about this angle over here. I said the angle is X, I just made it up. And then, there's already another property that I mentioned. This one would be the same measure. So, this part, so far, everything was the same. From this point on, the question is going to change. Like, the way I solve it is going to change. So, since we have a rhombus, this means all sides are congruent. All of them. Such as this right here, HI, would be equal to IF, to GF, and to GH. So, if you focus on the triangle on the lower left corner, the triangle HGI. Focus on that triangle. I really hope that you see that two sides are equal. Because of this, that triangle is called isosceles. Two sides are the same. As a result, two angles are going to be the same. So those two angles are uh, the one that is across from GH and the one that is across from HI. So those two angles, like angle 
it's not angle G, but it's at that point. So, and the other one that I labeled with X. So now I have uh, two angles of the triangle is equal to X. The other angle equals to 70. So probably all of you know this. When you add these three angles, such as X, X, and 70, it equals to... I'm trying to pick the pen up. Okay. It should be equal to 360 degrees. So the angles I have so far is in this triangle. I have three angles. One of them is 70. The other two are X and X. The sum of these three, since they belong to a whole triangle, equals to 180. I think I just said 360. I, I'm not sure if I did. I'm sorry about that. So the sum should be 180 degrees because they belong to a triangle. So I combine the like terms on the same side. There are two of these x's together. So it is 2x, bring down the 70, bring down the equal, and 180. Now, there are like terms, but they're not on the same side. So if you do the opposite or inverse of one of them, now bring down the left side, equal, and 110. To get the x by itself, divide everything by 2. So x would be equal to 55 degrees. So that was what I was looking for anyways. So these are the two methods that you can use to solve for an angle, for an unknown angle of a rhombus. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Since I took forever, it is paused, and I hope that it doesn't take forever to move on to the next question. Okay, so let's see what we can do about this one. Quadrilateral RSTU is a rhombus. Uh, RUS is X minus 43. What is the value of X? Okay, let's locate this angle. The angle is going to be in the corner of U, by the way, because U is in the middle. Uh, okay, let's just start from R, go to U, and then go to, go to S. What am I doing? That's not S. Okay, this right here. So this is going to be my angle. Let me clear this up a little or not. Let's just leave it like that. So the value of this angle is X minus 43. Okay, if that angle is x minus 43, here's the next question. What other angle is going to be x minus 43? Uh, the diagonals are going to bisect, the, the diagonals are going to behave like an angle bisector. So such as us, you see that us, it divides angle u in two equal pieces. It also divides angle s in two equal pieces. So which means this angle right here, is going to be the same. X minus 43. Just like the other question, the previous question, when we labeled two of the angles that sits next to each other with X and X, this one is X minus 43 and X minus 43. Now, uh, you can either use the first method I used in the previous question, where uh, the adjacent angles add up to 180 degrees by doing this. The first X minus 43 plus the second x minus 43 plus 112 equals to 180. This would be the first method of solving this question because this angle here and this whole thing over here, they are supplementary because they are adjacent angle in a rhombus. So this would be the first method. I don't want to use this method. It's already in there. If you if you want to, you can pause the video, move on from here, and then uh, when you have a similar question, you can mimic what I just did in here. Okay. The method that I want to use is... Let's just... Okay. So in this triangle, S-U-T or S-T-U right here, 
I'm talking about that triangle, uh, two sides are going to be equal because all of the sides are equal in a rhombus but if you just focus on this triangle in the lower just look at this one two sides are equal so that's an isosceles triangle uh, which means two angles should be the same 112 is the only angle the other two will be equal x plus for x minus 43 and x minus 43 so this right here would be x minus 43 so in the end I'm going to set up the same exact equation anyways so let's just do it the first one that green plus let me find that blue that's a cute blue color Let's see if I can find it. Okay, x minus 43 looks similar. And then plus 112. The sum, since this is a triangle over here, triangle STU, the sum would be 180 degrees. So no matter what method you use, the equation you're going to solve is going to be the same in the end. Your answer is going to be the same anyways. So let's just combine the like terms on the same side. There's one x and then another one here. They make up 2x. Minus 43 minus 43 makes up minus 86. And if I combine it with that 112, it gives me 12 plus 14, which is 26. So I have a positive 26 on the left side. Uh, you don't need to use the same method. You can just grab a calculator and then combine those like terms on the left side anyways. It equals to 180 degrees. Now, 26 and 180 are like terms. I want to put them together. Bring down the 2x. And bring down 154 on the right side. So to get the x by itself, I divide everything by 2. So I would get x equals 70, let me see, 7. So this would be here, so that would be 77 degrees over there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, before I say goodbye, just want to make sure that the next question is not something crazy. Let me see. Okay. Let's do this one too. So, what's the value of t? Okay, let's see what is given. Angle TXU is t plus 7. Let me use TXU is right here. It equals to t plus 7. Okay. Uh, in the beginning of this video, when I made when I made the list of properties of a rhombus, I said the diagonals are perpendicular. So XV and WU are going to be perpendicular because this figure is given as a rhombus. Now I have one of the angles, the purple one is T plus seven, the blue one is ninety degrees. How about how about this one here? Can I figure this out? In every single one of the questions so far, I use this property. So that angle U is going to be cut in half. One half, if one half is given 54, like this half, the other one is going to be the same. Now I have a triangle in this area, and I know all of the angles. So I can just combine them together, such as T plus 7 t plus 7 that's one of the angles plus the second angle is 90 degrees plus the third one is 54 degrees so I'm talking about a triangle when I add three of the interior angles the sum would be equal to 180 degrees so now I have three light terms on the left side that I can combine 
such as this right here, that one here, and then this one here. So when you add them together, you get 151. Uh, let me just make sure. I don't want to... <laughs> okay, that's right. 151. So bring down the T on the left side. And then bring down equal and 180. So subtracting 151 to get the T by itself. So T would be equal to 29 degrees. Uh, 29, let's just uh, check if our work is correct because I'm still thinking about that 90, 54, and 7. <laughs> okay, plug in 29, 40, this angle would be 36. Okay, that was right. The other angle is 54 and then 90. They will add up to 180 degrees. Okay, I'm done for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment below if you still have any questions. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you think it helps you out. And subscribe to the channel uh, so you can get notifications whenever I share another video. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.